Hello everybody, it's me, David. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, yes. So, I thought I would just make a general, like, life update slash future projects video, which I, like, not wanted to do for so long because I feel like it's very close to a vlog and I haven't really made any, like, vlogs. And for some reason I felt like I couldn't do that and I don't... Uh, I have I have an idea of which speed paint I'm going to put in the background of this. It was one I did a while ago. And for some reason, I was like, ah, oh, I have to find a theme to have in this and this video to talk about this and this. And I was like, no, I don't. I made this YouTube channel exclusively so that I could talk to the void that is the internet. Because I... I'm a chatterbox, and I speak a lot, and very few people want to listen, is the thing. But yeah, I've had a lot of personal stuff going on for a very long time, and I keep wanting to get back into making videos, because it was something I felt uh, was very fulfilling, and something I really enjoyed doing. It just takes so long, doesn't it? It's the editing that kneecaps me, I feel. But I really want to try harder to get into it uh, this year. I know we're already, like, over halfway through the year, but if I can, we don't need to think about that. It gives me anxiety to think about that. Let's think about something else. So, I've began working seriously on my comic project, which, in case you didn't know, I had a comic that I was making back in high school. Uh, and it was trash. It was really bad. Um, and it, what pisses me off about that is I was warned, you know? <laughs> so many people told me, don't make your first comic, like, your big, long, epic. Go with something short so you can gain the experience. And you actually know what you're doing and getting yourself into. Uh, but, you know, I was like, no, I'm different. Because <laughs> I was, like, super hyper fixated and I just couldn't imagine bringing myself to focus on anything else hard enough to be able to commit to making a comic of it. But I've done a lot of comic pages as part of my work uh, now, and I feel like I have a lot more experience. I'm also putting some stricter limits in play. Like, the thing that I did last time was I shaded everything, colored everything, and it was all fairly highly rendered of course it looks like shit now so it was all for naught but i think this time i'm gonna either i'm gonna flat color it and i'm gonna keep myself from shading it or i'm just gonna not color it. i think i probably will color it because i think the colors are a bit important to the visual storytelling yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have to limit myself this time i can't just i can't just fucking go ham again I've also made an actual work plan, which I find works well. I'm writing a script, guys. I, I was very resistant to writing a script the first time because I was like, I'm not a writer. I'm an artist. I'm very aware that I'm not a writer. I'm way too dyslexic for that shit. But uh, while, while working, making comic pages uh, for clients, I found that uh, having a script really helps to like keep working when I'm not inspired to and when I don't have the motivation. If I just did all the planning and thinking ahead of time and I just have to follow a script, it's a lot easier to actually get stuff done. So that's the thing I'm forcing myself to do this time. And so far it's been working out really great. Uh, I did, I finished the plot outline. I'm really happy with it. And now I'm working on like the detailed script with all the, all the detailing of the page layouts and stuff, which is taking a long time, but I'm, I'm kind of stuck right now, but I'm hoping to get going soon. So that's one project I have in the go. I also have several YouTube videos I wanted to make about different topics. Uh, I saw a movie that I really loved at a movie festival recently. Uh, and I really fucking need to scream about that because, uh, I don't think it's very well known. To be fair, I have zero concept of how well known anything is. Like, I've never had any sort of gauge for that. Uh, so unless it's something that's fucking, that I know for a fact is, like, super well known, like, I don't know, fucking Harry Potter. I literally don't know if something is, is like, ah, oh, everyone knows this, or if it's like, ah, oh, no, no one has ever heard of this. And some of that is skewed from my cultural background. Uh, for instance, I'm willing to bet most of you 
unless you happen to be Norwegian, do not know of the Norwegian parody movie of Kill Bill called Kill Bullio, featuring some highly racist comedy. Um, but, you know, if you were Norwegian, of course you would know that movie. Everyone knows that movie. Anyway, tangent. I'm, I'm not stopping myself from tangenting on this one, because, you know, I just assume everyone who fucking is still subscribed to me for whatever reason just enjoy my ADHD tangents. I, I, I will just assume that of all of you. And no one is here to disagree, so it sounds like I'm right. Other than that, I have several, like, small animatics and stuff like that I really want to get off the ground. I actually have two friends uh, that are really good musicians, and I've been... Ah, oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna give me a little bit of backstory on this one since when I... And I do say when, because I am determined to get this out at some point, no matter how long it takes. But when, when I put out that video, it's not going to have any other context in it, so I guess I'll give you a little here. Uh, basically, I have a friend who you may have seen appear on this channel, Yada, and she's a hot-ass bitch, basically. And she was... Uh, maybe I'm not allowed to tell that story. Okay, I will not tell that story for now. And I will tell it later if I am allowed. But the point was, she had an experience uh, one night that left her upset. And then she went back home and she had full-on bronchitis at this point. And she grabbed her fucking acoustic guitar with a broken string. And you can like fully clearly hear the washing machine going in the background. Um, and she just improvised this fucking song. And... You guys will not believe how pissed I am that this is the fucking most beautiful song I've ever heard in my life. I'm actually so angry. And I need to make an animatic to this song. No one else has the song. I I halfway think Yara doesn't even have the song anymore. <laughs> She's too embarrassed. She just deletes her shit. But I have the song. I might be the only person on the fucking planet who has this song. And I'm fully intending to release it with... A music video. It's not a full song. It's like a short little little piece of it. But it's so good. Damn it. And then I have another friend who just has the softest, nicest voice. And she has, she has sent me several covers that she's worked on in the past. And um, some of them I desperately need to make animatics for as well. They're so beautiful. And again, I'm the only one who has them. I mean, at least in her case, I think she keeps them. But uh, fucking... Uh, basically and then i also want to make an automatic to my own little melody thing i released a couple of years ago the game over one i fucking die every day thinking that i haven't done that yet but you know i did release that song so that in case i never get around to it at least the song is there but i do really want to do it is the thing i was also considering if i wanted to try my hand at making some like crafting videos uh, like um with a camera i don't really want to have my face on camera because i'm not pretty like that but uh one thing I, I i did a craft recently that i really enjoyed i got like this fucked up looking clown doll from uh, a thrift store and i basically just sewed a new body for it and some new clothes and repainted the face and it was so fun and i love the outcome and I was like, it would be really fun to film this and make a video of it, um, because it's something I never see people do. And I get a lot of doll repainting videos, uh, on my general social medias, uh, because, uh, I don't know, I just think that looks cool, I guess. But I never get these fucked up looking porcelain clown dolls, which is, of course, what I want. I mean, look at my username. Of course, that's what I want. I was also thinking of deleting the video where I did the reading of my favorite chapter from uh, The Martian Chronicles and redoing it because I can't listen to it without wanting to uh, rip my eyelashes off. Uh, and, you know, I have a couple of videos like that where I just fully want to jump off a bridge uh, when I think of the fact that they still exist, like the South Park one, for instance, uh, fucking want to die every single time. But I'm refraining, I'm keeping myself from deleting those, but the Ray Bradbury one I kind of want to remake, just because I really have my ways in it, and I want to redo it. So those are some videos I really want to make. I guess for some, I guess I could also tell you about my fucking personal projects that probably won't get posted on here, fucking who's gonna stop me, you? No. 
You have no power over me. You have no power here. I really want to get a better at guitar. I can I can play a couple of chords. I can play a couple of songs, but I never learned how to like finger pick and my str I really struggle with strumming patterns. It's really difficult for me to get my hands around. And I think I really want to get better at that cuz that's something that always brings me a lot of fulfillment when I when I get it done. And and the reason I'm recording this now and also the reason why I'm kind of picking up guitar now as well is because I've basically been afraid of making noise, like disturbing the neighbors and stuff. But we recently moved and this place has a little broom closet. And that's actually where I'm recording this now. And we set it up to be like kind of a little recording booth. And we have yet to put a lot, uh, a lot of like sound insulation on the walls and it's not gonna be completely soundproof, but it's definitely gonna dampen the sound a lot. And I feel like I'm gonna be a lot more comfortable making a lot of noise in this room when all that's up and even now it's not finished i just set up like the little desk with the microphone here and i already feel a lot more comfortable just speaking loudly in here uh, and also i hope uh, that i won't have as much problems with like the echo and sound quality as i had in the previous um previous videos it's always been kind of a problem i've dealt with but i'm hoping as this, this is a very small room without a lot of echo i hope that it will work out you know, my first microphone, a fucking blue snowball, which everyone said would be such trash, that one recorded great audio, but ever since it died, man, I got, I got a, th how the fuck do you pronounce that, Thon Max, Thron Max, I don't know, I got a fancier microphone, and it doesn't do the trick, I'm using my roommate's microphone right now, which is very fancy, and I'm hoping this will take up some, some good sounds, but yeah, I've, I've, like, basic. Listen, the whole time I've not been making videos, right? I've missed making videos because I just love speaking. I just love getting shit off my fucking chest and just having it out there. Even if no one watches it, it's just... I know there's always at least one person who watches it and that it like gives me an inner peace I cannot describe to you. And yeah, I think it would be really cool if I could manage to make some videos uh about my comic like upcoming and stuff because i kind of wanted to set up a, a patreon for it and try and get funded because basically my main problem in life uh and also why i don't make videos very often is that i make nowhere near a sustainable amount of money for just like existing uh so that's been like a reoccurring and constant problem for me and i was thinking if i can manage to get a Patreon going for this comic, then that could potentially solve a lot of problems for me. So I think, I think I will try to make some videos about the comic. I'm just kind of struggling on what kind of videos to make on it that wouldn't like show spoilers and stuff. Oh, another thing about the comic that I'm doing differently uh, from last time. Before I fucking, I made a page and I uploaded that shit right away. Not this time. I'm making hella booster for it this time. Uh, and that's gonna be hell for me because, you know, I'm the kind of person that like explodes anytime I try to buy a present for someone and I have to wait like three days to give it to them. I'm absolutely dying because I just want to tell them what it is. And so it's going to be very difficult to make that much booster and not post it because I'm going to be so wanting to post it immediately. <laughs> well, I guess I'm kind of hoping that'll sort of work as like motivation or drive for me to continue working because I'll just I'll just want to show it so bad that I'll just be like speed running through the rest of it. Uh, yeah, other things. Uh, I also kind of want to practice singing more because I have really bad range. I would really like to sing, and that's another thing I hope in, I'm hoping this sort of sound insulated room will help with. Uh, basically, I'm counting on the sound insulating room to be like my salvation, essentially. So that was my short little life update slash projects to come. And I also have some real life shit, like I got, a, I got an exhibit in October and I gotta make some prints for that, hopefully sell some there. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm basically 100% sure that I'm gonna spend more money setting up the exhibit than I'm ever gonna make from it, but, uh, you know, we vibe. Well, we hope for the best. I'm holding it in my basement and it'll be cool. I have at least two traditionally painted projects I wanted to do. Uh, I had one which I w actually wanted to make a video going fully in depth with. I just wanted to actually have the paintings finished first before I go around explaining it because the, the video would be kind of like a part of it. And I also wanted to make a exhibit 
of just paintings of what are considered the most important meals in my life because uh, basically the thesis behind that one is I always wanted to be able to communicate the deeply complicated, nostalgic, comforting emotions I get when presented with one of those like gas station muffins that you get in like the plastic wrap, you know? People don't understand why I get so needlessly emotional about these things and I need to explain it through art. It's the only way. And I was like, oh, to explain this, like, you would have to know my relationship with food throughout my entire life. And I was like, what if I paint that, you know? And yeah, hopefully that'll carry. But um, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm not a great painter. and I'm definitely not a great traditional painter. So uh, this is basically way out of my league and my comfort zone. And I'm gonna do it anyway, because fuck you. Oh, another thing, if, uh, you know, I don't fucking know who would be watching this video. I guess uh, if you're a person who's been following me for a long time, or you just found me just now and you fucking watched the old Gaze of Norway video, uh, I'm actually still friends with, like, everyone who was in the first video of that. And I kind of wanted to do, like, an update. <laughs> there have been there have been exciting updates in the personal lives of these people. And so I thought it might be fun to do a follow-up on that. I'm not completely sure yet, though. I also would have to ask if they would be up for it, so. But yeah, that's my, that's my little projects to come update. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's very different from pretty much anything that I've done before, but... That's the vision I have for my channel. I want it to be some random fucking shit uh, with no cohesive theme because that's that's limiting to me. I gotta follow, like, my vision, man. All right, hopefully it won't be too long until the next video. Uh, See you later.